Hello, in this video we are going to cover how to run Python code online. So I'm always thinking why would you want to if you've already set it up on Windows, Mac or Linux. Also, another thing, ignore the fact that I'm on Mac because, because we're going to be running it online. Hence, you know, one of the advantages is that you can just run it anywhere. There's no installation required, use any browser. You could be on your laptop, in a hotel, if you're visiting family, you could be at home on your computer. You can just run the Python code literally wherever you are. And most of the tutorials in this series will actually be using the online Python IDE. And anything that can't be done in there, I will use a local IDE. It's still, it'll just be the IDLE, which is just the official Python one and it doesn't matter if i'm on mac or any other platform the code itself will be exactly the same so the actual website is codechef.com and you want to go to forward slash ide and then this ide actually allows you to run other code as well so there's like a whole heap of different type of codes so you can run some c you can run some ruby we're just interested in python so let's type in python so you got the old version 2 or version 3. We're going to stick with version 3 because unless you specifically need version 2, just stick with the latest one. And now we can put in a simple print line here and we are going to put hello everyone. And we'll go down, click run. Just take a, a few seconds because it's going to run it on there and, and then it will give us the result if it's successful. As you can see, it's successful. It says, hello everyone. And it also tells you how much memory it took, the time it took as well, and the status. It was successfully executed. So honestly, that in code online for Python and testing it. Again, this is not actually a Python programming tutorial. This is just showing you how you can test Python, but we do have other videos for coding in Python. So feel free to check them out on all of the different features that Python provides. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next Python programming tutorial.